Hey you guys, it's Melanie. I'm back with the video. It's been what, six months or more? I don't know. I know it's been a while. So I decided I would make a couple finance videos. I get asked the same questions a lot. So I'm going to answer them in some videos while drinking a beer because that's what I do in my regular life. So anyway, I'm gonna start with the video on how I make the most money cash back. I might use a site like Rakuten for rebates. I might use a cash back credit card. I wanna tell you guys how I make the most money cash back um, and of course pair it with a sale. But I think it's a little easier than traditional couponing and I wanna show you guys how I make free money for doing almost nothing. Hey it's guys, it's Melanie. Dollar Tree DIY. Storage solutions for small houses. Like makeover. Let me show you what I got. I washed all of my clothes together. Let's go make something. All right, so we're gonna do it online. We're gonna say I'm buying something online first. Um, let's use an example. I'm gonna buy some clothes, right? So the first thing I wanna do is see where has what I want on sale. I usually buy something from like Gap or Target. I spend way too much money at Target. So I'm gonna wait until they have a sale. Maybe the sale will be like an extra 40% off or something like that from Gap. Gap has its own credit card so you can save your own money. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna say I am going to use my cashback credit card. So, so does Target. Target has their own where you get an extra 5% off. So maybe I should add, if you're going, if you shop at one particular store all the time, you should consider getting one of their credit cards. It will help your credit score in the long run and you will get more savings. I like the Kohl's card because I get an extra 40% off my Nike stuff there. I like my Target card because I get an extra 5% off of the million dollars that I spend there every single month. I like, what else do I have? A Gap because it's whatever the percentage is off every single month there. So always check that because you may get a better deal with that instead of using your traditional cash back credit card. However, if where you're shopping doesn't have a credit card like that, you should just have a cash back credit card. I have a whole video on this that I've already mentioned, but you're going to get back one to 5% on every single thing that you buy. So if you're going to go buy clothes, gas, food, whatever, you're gonna make one to 5% cash back. If you spend $100 a week, that's a dollar to $5 for absolutely no reason. Put in the savings, do whatever you want with it use it to pay it down, just make sure you pay it off at the end of the week so that way your credit score goes up, that's it. You get no, you don't have to pay interest on it as long as you pay it by the end of the week. So I like to use, I have a Discover card, I will link it below, and it usually gets up to 5% cash back depending on the quarter and where it's at. So no matter where I go, I can get the extra 5% cash back. Unless the credit card for that particular company has a better deal. So for, Poops and giggles will say 5% cash back every single purchase I use, right there. So to make it easy, we'll say I'm gonna make a $100 purchase online, that's $5 already getting back for absolutely no reason. So the second thing I'm gonna do is, of course, I'm gonna to go to Rakuten, I will link that below also. You probably know what that is, but if you don't, it's a cash back site. They have, I think I got cash back from like Coach on there, like almost every store, Nike, whatever, is on there. So let's say I'm gonna go shopping at Kohl's, I can get 2% cash back at Kohl's, even though I'm gonna get a whole bunch, big, huge discount using my card at Kohl's, I'm just gonna get the extra 2% cash back in my account for no reason. Let's say it's a deal where they have an extra up to 10%, because they do like up to like 20% cash back, 10% cash back, something like that, at Rakuten. If I wait till there's a deal and I get an extra 10% cash back, and I spend $100, I'm gonna get 10% cash back from the rebate site. So I've already made $15 for absolutely no reason. Of course, you wanna wait until something is on sale and if you have a coupon, go ahead and use it, but that's $15 made out of 100 for absolutely no reason. And if you put that into a savings account because it was free money and it requires 2% interest and you're making a bunch more money for absolutely no reason. Like you are just taking two extra steps and two extra minutes and you're getting all this money. Or you can use it to pay down your credit card or whatever you need it for. Maybe you need the money. I'm just saying, it's, it's free money. That's $15 on just $100. If you spend 400 a month on something and you get 15% cash back, that's what, 60 bucks for absolutely no reason. So that's my favorite. Anyway, so my tips, let's break them down. Oh, no, one more before I break down tips. 
the rebate apps. I know a lot of couponers use them. If you are not a couponer, hear me out. There are two things you should consider doing, even if you don't give a crap about coupons. One, you should go to your stores, the store you shop at the most, and see if they have digital coupons. I go to Kroger all the time, and I will go on like once every couple weeks, and everything I normally buy, they will they will quite literally have it on the page for me, and I just go clip, 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 and then I save like $2 off my chicken and blah, 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 and I'll save like 100 bucks a month because I took a couple seconds to clip coupons, and they make it so easy. It's literally, it's just right there, and then you go to the store. I don't even think about what coupon I have on there anymore. It just takes it off because it's something I buy all the time. Anyway, I wait till it's on sale, but I don't have to worry about a coupon. It's just, it's there. $100 for no reason. I just took two seconds. Click, click, click. The second is Ibotta. And Ibotta used to be finicky. You'd have to go buy the item and then you'd have to scan your receipt. And it was a whole thing that I just was like, oh my goodness. Now it's not. It is connected to your grocery store card. It is connected to your car Target card. It's connected to your cards. So if you go in once or twice a month and you say, okay, look, you go through the line of whatever groceries are there. Click, 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 click everything that you want a coupon for that you may end up purchasing. I get $50 a month cash back for no reason. I don't have to go in and say, oh, you know, I have this coupon, nothing. It is connected to your card. So I connect whatever to Kroger. And sometimes it's like the same coupon, $2 off the originally and then $2 back, $4. The product ends up being free and I don't have any effort or thought into it. So if you are not a couponer and you have like a couple minutes and a favorite store, Go for Ibotta and go for the store's coupons and just clip them. You don't have to worry about it. Just when it go goes on sale, mindlessly buy your stuff. And at the end of the month, you're going to have extra money for no reason. Like it's insane. I get like $100 off the top with my coupons, $50 back on Ibotta for no reason. Plus I'm getting cash back on the cash back site when I go online. And then I'm getting like 5% cash back on my credit card. And I'm not putting very much thought into it. It takes me five, 10 minutes a week going on and saying, okay, I have to make sure my credit cards are paid off so they don't accrue interest. I'm gonna go see if there's any new things I like on the couponing site, click, 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 done. There's no printing, there's no showing them at the store, it is done. If you do nothing else, get a cash back credit card. And maybe whenever you order something online, try to go through Rakuten to get the cash back. 15% on a dollar is like 15 bucks for no reason, like it takes you 10 minutes. That's like, how much is it an hour? 15 times six? Yes, <laughs> yeah. So I'm just saying, you don't have to be a couponer, I promise. If you have any questions or any other thoughts, can you let me know? Cause I would love to save more money. I like to make money. I like to make money doing almost nothing. That's my favorite thing, yeah? That's my favorite. Anyway, that is it. I will link videos and credit cards and Rakuten and stuff uh, below. And if you have questions, let me know. And if you have thoughts, let me know. And um, that's it. Thank you guys for listening to me ramble. Bye, y'all. Love you.